I'm in the car now, back from my very last A-level exam, uh, which feels very strange. Uh, the fact that they're actually over, uh, it doesn't feel like they could be over. As for how chemistry went, um, I'm not entirely sure. Some of the questions were quite tricky, which, I mean, is expected because A-levels are supposed to be challenging, but I'm not sure whether it went as well as it could have done. No, it doesn't look that appetizing anymore. So, um, as you can probably gather, uh, I have now officially finished my A-level exams, which seems so strange to even think. Uh, it definitely hasn't sunk in. It feels like I've got something to do. Um, I meant to have, you know, an essay to write or I should be pra practicing some chemistry questions but no I've got no schoolwork left to do um very strange uh, so I've just been reading through the news because I haven't really been keeping up to date with it over exam season um most days I will listen to the news every morning and then I will also look through the New York Times in the evening but I haven't been doing that over the last month and so I just wanted to catch up on the news especially since uh, I hadn't actually heard about the migrant crisis at the moment in the US and so I wanted to look into that definitely. It's currently about quarter to four and um, I'm going to go back to school now. Um, basically I'm going to be helping at Junior Debating Society which I used to do every evening after school on Wednesdays but I haven't been able to do it during exam season for the last three weeks so I'm really excited to be able to do it this evening because I really love doing it and whilst I'm talking about Junior Debating massive shout out to Holly because I know that she watches my videos and she uh, she's in year eight and she started Junior Debating Society completely off her own initiative she made this club from scratch herself which is amazing we should all take her example and use our initiative in a similar way so yes I'm gonna go and do that and then from there I'm going straight to my friend Eleanor's house because she's invited me around to go I got swimming. back from junior debating and now we're driving straight over to my friend's house uh, so that we can have a mini pool party just the two of us which would be really lovely so we've just come into Waitrose to um, get a little something to bring round to Eleanor's house and I've chosen some crisps. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. May contain almonds and peanuts. So I need something that doesn't contain nuts. I'm gonna get one of these hazelnut praline croissants up with hazelnut. That one? Yum. Thank you, do you want a half you it? Deserve like, this. I'm gonna get my own one. Oh so my the whole way through exams mm. I've been eating really healthily. So no sugary foods, no processed foods, it's all been like vegetables. I've just seen this and it looks so tasty and because my exams are officially over, I can have one. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that. And I decided to go for golden Oreos for Eleanor. Um, because they don't contain nuts and they are quite tasty. It is currently Friday morning. So, I am, well, I've just been reading, um, I've had some breakfast and I've just been reading at the breakfast table. I'm currently reading Reconstructing Amelia, which is really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm enjoying the fact that I have got so much more time to read, but I do have quite a few things which I do need to get done today. So, it's definitely not going to be a really relaxed day at all. I've got a speech that I need to write, and I've written maybe... A fifth of it so far, so I need to crack on with that. So it's now around 10.20 and I read for a bit and then I had a few yearbook things to sort out uh, because we're sending off for it today in literally about 20 minutes and there are a few things that were still missing so I've been chasing people up just trying to last minute get them um, but I think it's all pretty much sorted now I'm, wait I'm waiting to hear from one person and then we're ready to send it off which is really great you're probably thinking you're sending up for your yearbook so late because everyone's already left but at my school we come back in uh, the day before the last day of term and then the very last day of term for a kind of leavers goodbye and then we give out yearbook and we sign them 
on that day so that's why they that's why we're sending them off relatively late there's something about chasing up these kinds of inquiries which just makes you feel very tired so I'm going to read a tiny bit more so that I'm in a better mindset to start writing the speech again and I'm sorry my voice is so croaky I think the sudden relief of not having exams has made me slightly ill because I think I'm coming down with a cold. So it's 1.30 now and I managed to write another kind of page and a bit of my speech and then I had some business emails to reply to so I did that and I also edited a video and now I am watching a bucket list family vlog. I love the bucket list family at the moment. And it's really nice to actually just be able to sit here and watch this without feeling guilty because usually when I watch YouTube videos, I do feel guilty for watching them and I shouldn't, but I do. And um, it's nice to be able to sit here and watch it and know that I don't have any reason to feel bad for it. Whoa, I haven't been out in the garden since yesterday. And look, there's a hole here. Look at that. I just saw that and I was like, what is this? Really excitingly, um, we are getting a hot tub. Really cool. So it's a wood burn hot tub. I'll show you when it comes. So it's made completely of wood and then there's a little stove underneath and then you light it and then you wait for it to warm the water and then you end the hot tub like that. So it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it coming. And this, so that's where the hot tub's gonna go. So we've just put some cement down. And then this bit's been dug because we're gonna put a hedge in here so that we've got privacy from next door. Do you wanna go out? Both of the dogs are interested by this. I don't want her to fall in here though. Lola, don't jump in. 